What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going through games 1 through 3 of my Weekend League recap. Now, uh, Weekend League is where you play 25 games over the course of the weekend and you get rewards based off how you finish. Uh, but me, I only had the capacity to get th 13 to 16 wins. I don't have enough patience for all 25. But yeah, this is what the team is looking like. Very different from what you guys are used to seeing. And uh, I do appreciate appreciate the support with all the tip videos on the channel. I will continue to post those. Um, you know, I just, just have Happy that I'm finally gaining subscribers, finally gaining some traction. So I do want you guys to know that I am noticing, and uh, I do appreciate the support. So if you like what I post, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. If you enjoy the weekend league recaps, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Um, starting off games one through three, let's let's get into this. All right, so heading into game one of Weekend League, there's our top three going up against Coach Nick Gaming. So I just looked him up. He does have a YouTube channel, so if you guys could go show him some support. I think he has a No Money Spent Ravens theme team. So if you guys could go show him some support, go subscribe to him. I'm sure he would appreciate that very much. So he starts out with a flat to Barry Sanders, and we get him into a fourth and five. And I had Lawrence Taylor in a spy, and then he just decides to say, all right, I'm just going to pick the ball off and just bail you out. So we got good field position, which is really, really good so just starting out with a good field position is always good in a game in weekend league so we hit the post route to DK Metcalf who comes out with a nice 24 yard grab and then we on the very next play we throw to Amari Cooper on the RPO and he gets us in the end zone and you guys are going to see uh, Amari Cooper just, just tends to go off in this weekend league at least in this video so uh, coming up with a sack on Lamar Jackson from Ricky Jackson um, brings him to a fourth and ten and then we send him we send in a little blitz and get a DRC in there and connection to your peer has been lost GG bro on to game number two um, doesn't have a, as good of a top three as us so teams probably not as good but nonetheless he, he put up a good fight so coming out he's throwing to Tony Gonzalez in the flats on the drag and then my run defense just decides to say, uh, you know what, we're not going to play the run today. So we give a big gain to Christian McCaffrey, um, which is obviously not good. Um, and then I thought Antonio Camardi had good coverage, but I guess Marvin Harrison decided to get some sumo catch. And then um, he punches it in with Edger and James. So now we're down 7 nothing, which isn't good. <laughs> it's not good. My dude is playing really good man-to-man -man coverage. And I had the slant route wide open, but for some reason I just didn't see it. Um, and then we just force it to DK. So we go right back to the same play. And he guards the slant this time, but I think his user just wasn't quite fast enough. So Amari Cooper speeds on by him. And uh, we have a big conversion on fourth and five to get us in the red zone. So, um, you know, we, and we take a big sack, pause. Um, Brett Favre couldn't, just lucky that wasn't a fumble. So third and 20, he, he hits me with a quarterback draw, which is not what you want to see. Um, QB draw is very powerful this year. So he ends up getting, he ends up extending his lead to 10 to three. So that puts pressure on me to score. Um, you know, we all know that. So throwing the corner out to Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper has been really, really good for me. I, it's, a, it's a really good receiver. Like I had never used Amari Cooper in Madden before, I don't think. So he's been really good for me. He's been the best receiver I've used so far. So throwing to him again, he breaks a tackle and then skirts by Steve Atwater and then scores a touchdown to tie the game up. So getting points before half, before half, that was really, really huge. And then we baited the mess out of him with Taylor May. He's got a, it's a nice user pick. Um, taking us back into field goal range. So and the, so that makes us to where we could score three before half, which is really good. So that completely turned the game around. So we throw to the flats to Tony G coming out in the second half, and um, we're just moving methodically down the field. And then perfect pass lead by uh, Brett Favre. Nice dot to Amari Cooper in the end zone. So that is, extends our lead to 20-10. to 10. And uh, yeah, he get he gets hit. He gets a throw out of sack animation, causes it to be a duck, and then uh, Derwin James comes up with the pick, which is really good, really good for us. So now we're back um, again, hitting the corner out to Amari Cooper and scoring the easy touchdown. That's three touchdowns for Amari Cooper in this game. So he just decided to quit after that. I don't blame him. I probably would have quit too. So heading into game three. Now this was by far my worst game this weekend. I got my cheeks clapped. You know, going up against Deadly Taco, 2-10. So Deadly Taco, 
I, I definitely underestimated Mr. Deadly Taco because he had some dots. <laughs> okay, I'll just say that. He has some dots. When it mattered, he delivered. So, um, But yeah, I tried to user rush him and I didn't get quite get there. But Deion Sanders, I clicked on Deion Sanders and I got the lucky interception with Acrobat. So, um, yeah. So my, my main objective here is to get, just get out, of the, get out of the end zone so we just hit the flats quickly to Reggie Bush. Um, and then right here, I knew he was in cover three, so I hit him with the wheel route concept with backfield master on Reggie Bush so that he's guaranteed to catch those passes. And um, something happened here. Like, I don't know. I guess, you know, my girlfriend walked in and flashed me, so I, I threw the interception. So y'all know how that goes, right? Um, just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, he finds a nice dot to Alvin Kamara on the angle route. So... And then Bo Jackson gets some kind of Michael Jackson spin move and falls into the end zone. So I don't know what that was. I thought I had him in the backfield, but it is what it is. Uh, hitting DK over the middle. That post route is so good, as you guys are going to see later on in the in Weekend League. And here I try to throw a cover three beater, but I get picked off by Jalen Ramsey. Um, very bad read by me. He had his defense for the cover three beater. I thought I had him over the top with Gunslinger, but... Obviously, I did not. So, and then I ran commit right, and he reaches from five seven yards out and still gets the touchdown. Now that really pissed me off. So, we got Deion Sanders coming out of half, and he just decides, you know what, I'm just gonna give the ball right back. So, that is not good, Deion. I really hate you for that. Uh, <laughs> but then he comes up, and Tyreek Hill hangs on in traffic, and now the score is 21 to nothing, which is not good. And then he baits me with Jamal Adams on the corner route, and uh, he gets a really nice user interception. I didn't think he could recover and get back that far, um, but I guess he did. So, <laughs> you know, after that, you know, something really ha something happened with my PS4. I, I don't know quite. Sh I'm not quite sure what happened with my PS4 there. I think it crashed. So, so obviously we had to get into the next game. So starting out, Antonio Cromarty with the interception. Um, starting out much better this game. Um, so this was going to be a quick one uh, because this opponent, I could tell he probably wasn't that good. So I mean, he came out on goal line defense. You don't come out on goal line defense online. You just don't. <laughs> it's terrible. So we let up a fourth and seven to him. And then Lawrence Taylor gets a nice shed, and we sack him in the backfield. So, yeah, I don't know what was going on with this guy. Um, I didn't show many plays because they were just like four or five-yard gains, so it wasn't really much to show. But he got aggravated that I was just doing, like, everything right, I guess. Like, when he came out in three-down line, when I would audible to an 0-1 trap, and then I would hit him with a run, and he just got tired of it. So he had an early exit. So that's games one through three. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, as always, uh, leave a like and comment down below. Let me guys know. Let me know what you guys want to see in from me and the channel. Um, you know, I know nobody nobody likes to comment. That's okay. I'm still gonna keep making videos for you guys to watch. Tip videos are still gonna be coming. But this is a quick look back of the squad. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys stay tuned for the next Weekend League recap. I'm not sure. I'm going to try to fit five games in if I can. I want to I wanna try to narrow this down to about two or three or no, three or four videos. So if you guys like this and you enjoy it, make sure to hit the like, subscribe down below, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.